I'll just pick up here and bend into the stop. Well, he's not looking to. Well, he's not looking to stop. When I ask him for a for a bend to a stop there, I um I really want to I want to try and do that different spots in the arena all the time in the round yard all the time. So I don't want him to get used to stopping in one place. As I was saying the other, in one of the other videos, um, I'm doing a lot of shifting around in the saddle. He's been a bit spooky about that a couple of times, so I just want to shift that weight around a fair bit, lean back a little bit, lean forward, side to side, a little bit, a bit of a twist around and rub him on the bum, pat him on the bum there, just so that, that weight distribution changes and he gets used to the feel of that. He's looking hard out that gate there. I'm going to start, even though he's not stopping at the gate, I'm going to start asking for a trot at the gate. I'm going to go straight to that gate there, is he? No, he turns away, that's good. And there he didn't go to look, go hard to the gate, so I'll leave him alone there. Yeah. Drop, please. Drop. And 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 drop. I don't really want to lose that tail. There we go. Good boy. I don't really want to use that tail when he's threatening the buck there. And I want to be able to use both those reins to, to sort of ride through there if I need to. And I don't... It's a funny situation, if if he was breaking to trot from the walk or breaking to canter from the trot, I'd shut it down. But because I'm trying to get him to go forward, I don't want to shut it down. So it means I've got to be ready to ride through a buck if I need to. Walk. 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 Mm -hmm.